How's it going everyone? Today I want to give a quick update on my roster. I know my last roster review video was quite long, like 20 minute plus long. I don't want to make this a long video. I feel like it was quite drawn out for no reason. I was kind of just yapping, I'll be honest. Uh, so today I'm just going to give a quick update. I uh, just want to let you know that if you're watching this video, uh, go back and watch the other video first to get sort of a timeline uh, where my roster was versus where it is now. All right. So uh, as you can see here, this is my paladin. Uh, back in, I'm going to put a picture on screen now that's going to show you where it was two months ago. Um, now it has changed quite a bit, the, the entire roster to a degree. Uh, so this is a huge announcement, but I got my paladin to 1630. I decided to make paladin my main character going on forward. And the reason why is because simply the support shortage that's really it and i don't mind playing paladin uh so i got my paladin to 1630 zerker is 1620 still uh gonna keep it at 1620 until i get enough bound mass to get to 1630 but my other video my paladin had l not many bound mats compared to my zerker so how was i able to get to 1630 well i say i bought the frog every single week this week I did not buy it, but every week until last week I bought it out and then I dumped all the mats into Paladin. All the Extreme Vault and Hard boxes, all the Honor Shard boxes, Leapstone boxes, everything that we've been given from a login event or from an event shop, I saved it all and used it all in Paladin. In addition to that, um, a viewer, shout out to Lagusa in Twitch chat, he gave me 200k gold as a, as a loan, uh, which I'm obviously going to pay him back. Um, I'm good on my word. But it gave me a 200k loan to help me out with honing the paladin at 1630. I did a big stream yesterday where I, where I uh, honed my paladin from 1621 all the way up to 1630. Everything is plus 21. Obviously, I don't have a 25 weapon or anything, but I'm not going for that anytime soon. I don't really care for it. So, uh, so yeah, my paladin is 1630. I'm still running level 7 gems. I do plan to be full 10 on my paladin. That may not be efficient. Uh was told that level 10 on heavily blessing is all you need but i just want to go full 10 for the aesthetic because i'm more of a pug guy i don't really do statics that often i may do a static for progging but then once i'm done with progging i prefer to go back to pugging because i just don't want to be on a time schedule each week for raids i already do, do that at work i don't want to do that when i get home and play the game so that's just how i prefer things now another thing regarding honing the paladin in 16, 1630 is i had to sell a level 10 damage gem to do that I'm going to get that back pretty quickly, so I'm not worried about that. Um, and also, in the last roster review, uh, I showed that I only had two level 10 gems on my Berserker, but now I'm full 10s on my Berserker, besides the one I just sold, which I'll get back. So that's another big announcement. So yeah, Paladin is 1630. Descend into Darkness, the Road to Thaymine. I used that on a 1585 Paladin, which I then got up to 1600 pretty quickly. The Honing Express event, I used that on my 15 eight, I, I, I used it on a 1520 Paladin that was down here and got it up to 1580. So now I had three supports in my roster and three DPS. And if you ask me, I think that's the perfect combination. Three support, three DPS. I, it just is what I think is optimal and is the best, right? I'm going to go ahead and log into my Zerker and just show you what bound mats I have on my Zerker. So let's go ahead and look at that real quickly. All right, so this is my this is my Zerker here, uh, 1620 Zerker. Uh, everything is the same as last time, the card sets, all that stuff, but the bound mats have gone up a little bit. I'm at 4.8k bound leap stones. Uh, Guardians 142k, 52k destruction. These last few weeks, I've not been buying out the Akan box from hard mode because I was using every single piece of gold I got to buy level 10 gems. Um, or actually, what I did was I bought two level nine gems fuse my existing nine into a 10 to gamba i in just tldr i won five times and lost four times so i'm still in agree <laughs> uh so yeah these are my bound mats uh i need i think i need about 8k 7k to get to 1630 so i'm like halfway there kind of uh and then honor shards 3.2 mil uh but yeah he's full tens besides the one i just sold which like i said i'll get back and, and yeah, that, that, that's about it. This guy has been the same as last time. Nothing has changed. Still 20 weapon. I'll hone him when I feel like it. Uh, now, I want to show you the other two paladins and where they're sitting out right now in terms of bound mats. And then, uh, 
after that, I'll, sh I'll quickly go over Scrapper and Shadowhunter bound mats, and then I'll kind of discuss what I plan on doing going forward from Thaymine and beyond. All right, so the 1600 Paladin. Uh, this guy is 5x3. I need to update his build. Uh, I need to do the 5x3 plus 1 with the Magic Stream, replacing Drops of Ether, and then a plus 1 being uh, Crisis Evasion. That's the 5x3 plus 1 I like. So that's what I'm going to go with. Um, I do have the Lost Wind Clipped here. I have that. I, I think I showed you that in the last video. Uh, bracelet, nothing special here. Just 2.1% uh, uh, crit with the Swiftness and Expertise. I wish this was Spec, but you can't win them all. But yeah, these are my bound mats. I'm almost at 2k bound leap stones, 70, 17k destruction, and 45k guardian. Uh, I do have enough mats here to get to 1610, I believe. Or at least almost. Uh, but I'm not going to push for that just yet. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next paladin. Don't jail me. I love this name. Alright, so this paladin, 1582. He's almost at full set. I'm missing like two or three pieces, I think. Using the uh, engraving support here, engraving gems, this guy's an, an, an event character, right? For the bound mats, I have 1.8k leap stones, 16k destruction, 37k guardian. So yeah, this guy is in a good standing to hit 1600 pretty easily. And now we'll move on to the scrapper. Oh, uh, sorry, before that, um, I got really good on this, really lucky in this bracelet. This is a relic bracelet, and it was vitality, strength, dagger, and swiftness. When I upgraded it, I got another line, which was Spec 101. So this is a really good bracelet. I wish it, I wish it was crit. Wish it was crit. Uh, but I will settle with dagger. But yeah, I, I'm pretty happy about that. Now we move on to Scrapper. I'll show you the bound mats on the Scrapper. Alright, so this is my Scrapper here. 1604. Uh, nothing crazy on a bracelet. Just two main stat. Uh, 5x3 plus 1. Full 7 gems. I used to have some 9s on this scrapper, but I liquidated them and transferred them into a 10 to put on my Zerker. This scrapper will go back to 9s in the future. Yeah, nothing special about this scrapper, I'll be honest. Uh, quite a bit of bound mats, actually. This guy was 1590 before a con release. So he has a lot of bound mats here. And I have, an, I have enough to easily hit 1610 for sure. Plan on getting 9s on the scrapper and honing it eventually. And now we'll move on to Shadow Hunter. 1600 Shadow Hunter. Don't pay attention to this spec. I don't have the pet buff active when I'm in the sea. It's like 1780 or something spec, which can be increased if I wanted to. Uh, level 10 gems. 5x3 plus 1. And then for the bound mats here, uh, 3.2k, 30k destruction, 87k guardian, 4.3 mil uh, honor shard. So. This guy is in a really good position to hit 1610 as well, but not going to go for it just yet. Um, and now let me discuss my plan on what I'm going to do with my roster going forward. When they my releases, I'm going to focus on the transcendence, trying to min-max it, etc. I'm going to prog normal mode first. I could easily go for hard mode right now for week one, but I'm just too anxious to do that. I'm the kind of guy where I'm scared of the unknown and they mine is unknown to me. So I'd rather just focus on prog in normal mode first, get used to the attack patterns for gate 1 and 3, and then prog hard mode. Uh, I do have a static for, for, for progging, uh, so that's pretty good. I was able to get into a static, so that's nice. So this guy was day 1630. I'll focus on transcendence. Once that is done, I'm going to start getting this paladin to 1610, this paladin to 1600. Berserker will still stay at 1620. Probably going to keep it there until Echidna. And, and the gems are done, so I'm, I'm glad with that. Scrapper, I'm going to focus on getting full 9s. And then bringing him to 1610. And then Shadow Hunter, I'll then bring to 1610. Once these 4 alts are at 1610, I'm going to keep them there for a long time. I'm then going to try to get my Berserker to 1630. Get into hard mode. Get that Transcendence. Maxed out. Um, and hopefully I can get all of this done before... Echidna comes out. My plan is to get 1630 on Berserker before Echidna, get all these guys at 1610, and maybe get one of these Paladins to 1620. Maybe, maybe, but that, that's probably pushing it there. But uh, f full 10s on Paladin is my goal with getting these two guys to 1610, getting this Berserker to 1630 before Echidna if I can, but I'm, I'm not banking on that, and getting these two guys to 1610 with these Scrapper being full 9s. That is my goal. I don't plan on going crazy with 6, 16, 20 alts, nothing like that. I'm just going to get these guys a 16, 10, so at least I could do normal mode, Thaymine. 
right? Because it seems like a pretty cool raid, I'm not going to lie. It seems hard, uh, but hopefully normal mode is not that bad. I'm, I'm hoping so. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, get these guys at 1610, these four guys. Berserker 1630, hopefully before a kidnap, but if not, that's okay. And then uh, full 10s on Paladin, 9s on Scrapper. And now, yeah, that's that's mainly my goal. Um, and hopefully that can be done before a kidnap. And if so, I'll be extremely happy. But yeah. That's my roster update. Um, I do hope you guys enjoy this video. And, uh, and yeah, if you want to see more roster updates or what I do on a daily, weekly basis, uh, be sure to leave a comment down below. I also plan on doing commentary raids in the future where I maybe run a Vicus or a Clown or a Brel or, or an Akan or, or an Ivory Tower and just kind of, you know, do a commentary of the raid and kind of go over some nuances that maybe I didn't discuss in the actual raid guide itself. Uh, so if that's something y'all want to see as well, leave a comment down below. Oh, hi there. This is Death Boy from the Future. I do want to let y'all know that I plan on progging normal Mothe mines starting Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time until Sunday. We should be done by Sunday. So if y'all want to see that normal mode prog run, be sure to check me out on my Twitch channel. It's twitch.tv slash deathboy523. This will not be a blind run, but we'll be watching the gods ahead of time. I don't have all the time in the world to do this, so I just want to get it done. Get it pro, get it done with. Uh, so yeah, if y'all want to check that out, be sure to stop by my Twitch channel. And yeah, that is about it. Peace.